The Coolidge Corner Theater is such a staple in Brookline, and now it's unveiling a huge new expansion. And we have Hannah there now to give us a look at that new space. Hey, Hannah. Good morning, ladies. I know this is a, such a staple in the area, and I'm joined now by Executive Director and CEO Catherine Tallman and Beth Gilligan, the uh, Deputy Director here. What an exciting day. Kathy, what can we expect? Well, a lot of joy from a lot of people, <laughs> that's for sure. Um, we're opening the doors today to the public for the ribbon cutting into this beautiful new lobby, which will help people buy tickets inside and have more concession space, and people won't have to wait, wait outside anymore. Two new screens, an education center, a catering kitchen. Um, it's just an extraordinary new space that will allow us to do so much more. And this has been such a staple here since 1933. And like you said, people love watching movies here. But something that's so unique is that you guys offer these great programs. So, Beth, talk about those programs that you offer now and what this expansion will allow for you to, to grow into. Absolutely. So, yeah, we celebrated our 90th birthday this past December. There's a lot of history here, and we're always showing uh, new releases, often independent films, but we try to balance that with recognizing classic films. We have a lot of special series. Tonight we have Science on Screen, where we get Boston has so many amazing scientists. They come and introduce a film with you know a slightly different perspective than you'd think. We do outdoor screenings of the Greenway in the summer. We do midnight movies, kids shows. There's really something for everyone. Um, on opening day, we're going to be doing Wizard of Oz in 2001, A Space Odyssey. It's just, it's a great place to see the films you love or maybe you haven't seen yet. So a place for discovery, both of old and new. And a place of discovery, that's such an important thing. You talk about kind of the young and the old here. And you're going to be offering workshops in this new space for young and old, right? <laughs> yes, we're so excited. We're starting our first first youth education program this fall. We're going to have middle school and high school students come in, talk about learn through film, whether it's film form and aesthetics, learning about social issues or different eras through film, um, and just to get them in the door and engage through film. And then we'll continue our adult education classes. So if you're interested in learning more, taking a deep dive into film history, there'll be opportunities to connect through that as well. And that has been such a thing that people love about the Coolidge, right? It's a way for you to engage with these films, these things that we love. And Catherine, I'm curious why this expansion was important to you guys and why it was so important to keep kind of this nostalgia of the Coolidge from 1933 in the expansion. Well, we certainly know the Coolidge as it is today, or as it was right before today, <laughs> is a beloved institution for 90 years. And so we wanted to keep that intact. It's absolutely gorgeous as it is. And we added this. We added this because we really needed more screens. This was before COVID, but as soon as people came back, we were right back to where we were, which is we need more screens, we need this space. And Beth and I in particular really wanted to expand our education program. Yeah. And I want to ask about specifically the red and the blue rooms, because people are going to be seeing those images. What's the significance of that? Was that just a fun element to it? Is there meaning? That was our brilliant architect <laughs> who explained during his presentation to us that Art Deco is not a style, it's an interpretation. And so this is a contemporary interpretation of Art Deco. As you probably know, we have beautiful Art Deco in the existing building. So this Art Deco is repetitive patterns, very big on technology now. That's what, techno that's what Art Deco was um, when it first started. And so the, his concept, which you will, um, sorry. His concept, uh, which we have online on our website, is to go from neutral. He actually used the Wizard of Oz and the yeah. cook, the wife, the thief, and her lover um, as part of their presentations, mm -hmm. showing going from a neutral environment to, like, blazing color. So yeah. that's what the red is, blazing red, and then the blue is just, like, just beautiful deep blue. It's so beautiful, and you people can see that tomorrow. It's open to the public tomorrow. The ribbon cutting is at 1230 today. Ladies, this is such an exciting time for the Coolidge and for our community to really enjoy film.